Here at Certainty Home Inspections, we want to make sure that you can read and understand your radon results. At the top of the page here, you'll see the general monitor information, such as the model number, the calibration date, and the serial number. Below this, you'll see our inspection company information, such as our name, our address, our phone number, and our license number. To the right of this, you'll see your information, such as your name, and the address of the property in which you had the radon test performed. Below this is some general information concerning the home such as the year built, the square footage, and the location of the monitor during the test, whether it be the basement or the first floor. Below that you'll see the test summary. It just simply shows you the start time and date and the end time and date. Below that you'll see that we take a measurement every hour. And below that it's a two-day test. To the right of this information you'll see the EPA average. That is the result of your radon test. You want to be below 4 to be in a safe zone. Anything above 4, we would recommend mitigation. As you can see here, we're at 8.5. Scrolling down below this information, you'll see the bar graph. This bar graph shows you hour for hour what your spikes and lows were on your radon. Each little black dot represents a measurement taken. The red line going across the bar is that level of 4 that I referred to previously. You would like to be below 4 to be a safe level of radon gas. The last page of your, of your report will have some general information about radon, such as the radon risk and understanding the testing protocols. If you have any questions concerning radon gas in your home, please feel free to contact us. It's toll free 866 417 9591, or else you can visit us on the web at www.certaintyinspections.com. Thank you.